Hi everyone. I hope you enjoyed that book. It truly is one of my favorite books. If you were here last year, you probably remember me saying that and us reading it together. Um, it celebrates a person who was one of the greatest movers and shakers of all times. Do you remember what his name was? You got to learn about him in the book. Martin? Yeah, Martin Luther King, and he's a junior because that was also his dad's name. So Martin Luther King Jr. And he did really important work in helping make sure that everyone was treated equally and no matter what their skin color. And so he is, we call it black, but his skin looks darker. It's more of a brown color than actually black. And um, But he has darker skin. And he grew up in the south part of our country. And when he was growing up, uh, the black folks did not have the same opportunities and same rights and they weren't treated well and they weren't treated the same as people with lighter skin or what we call white skin even though it's not really white it's kind of like a peachy color right he was the black people didn't have the same rights or same opportunities and weren't treated the same way and martin said this is not fair we should all be treated equally all people deserve to have the same kinds of opportunities and rights and so martin dedicated his life to working for that. And you got to hear about that in the book. Right? Martin uh, gave many speeches and went and helped people all over the country to protect rights. And not just for skin color, but for people that were working and fighting for different causes. He said, no matter what, we should all have certain rights. And so he helped people that were working and needed rights or people in all different situations that weren't being treated fairly to hopefully gain some rights for to be treated fairly. We, we agree, I think, that all people should be treated fairly. And so Martin went out and was a mover and shaker and worked for that cause. Now, Martin gave a really, really important speech. And in his speech, he talked about his dream for the world. And he talked about what he hoped and what he dreamed would come true. That all people, no matter what their skin color, Right? would be treated fairly, would have the same kinds of opportunities. And um, he, and so he, and he worked for that and to, to make that happen. I wonder what kind of dreams you have for the world. Martin inspires me thinking about his, um, you know, really important work and the dreams that he had for the world. And he decided to really work to try and make his dreams come true. And that inspires me to think about what are my dreams for the world and how can I start working to try and make those dreams for the world come true? Like, what are my dreams and what can I do to make those come true, right? So um, we're going to think about that today, okay? And tomorrow we're also going to do an all school project where we'll talk some more about our hopes and dreams for the world and how we can be movers and shakers and we have a craft project to do together. And that, that was in your packet. And you'll, you'll see it's the outline of the dove, peace doves. Martin really, one of the things that I haven't said yet was that Martin believed in um, changing the world through in peaceful ways, right? So instead of going out and fighting and being violent or um, not being kind to people, Martin was very peaceful in the way that he tried to change the world and he believed that we could change the world through love and kindness. And, and one of my, um, so one of the things that I really admire him is how peaceful he was and how he encouraged others to be peaceful and to really take that approach to changing the world. Um, so he's an inspiration in so many ways and he did work to change the world and things did start to change, and there's still a lot of work to be done. So his important work did help change the world and did help make things better for people. But even to this day, making sure that everyone, no matter what their skin color or no matter where they live or what job they have, making sure that everyone has equal rights is still something that we can work on. We can still work on making sure everyone's treated fairly. But Martin was someone who really, really started doing that and, and did help to make changes. Um, but I want you to know that there's, it's not, the work isn't finished. There's still work to be done. But for today, here's what I want you to do. 
Is it, you have a paper like this. And it says, I have a dream. And then down here it says, bye. Right? So you'd put your name down here, bye. But the I have a dream part, I want you to think of your dream for the world. What do you hope for the world? So think about what something you wish could get better, or something you wish could be different. Yeah, think about that, right? Hmm, and what could it be? And then I want you to draw a picture of that in this cloud. Draw a picture of your dream for the world. Hmm. What could your dream be? There's so many different dreams. And we've kind of talked about um, some ideas in some of our morning circles for dreams that we might have for the world. But it could be something to do with how people are treated, right? And maybe you want people, no matter their skin color, to be treated equally and fairly. Or maybe people, no matter how much money they have, to be treated equally and fairly. Or no matter what their jobs are, to be treated equally and fairly. Uh, or their abilities. Or maybe you want um, to help do something for the earth, like Autumn, who is protecting and um, fighting for clean water. So maybe it's something for the earth. Maybe you want to protect animals. Maybe it's trees. Maybe it's water like Autumn. <clears throat> so there's so many different things that you might want to, that you might have dreams about for our world. Okay. So I want you to think of a dream that you have and to draw a picture of your dream in this dream bubble. Oh, I can't wait to see this. So one of my favorite things to do every year is to feel the inspiration and love from Martin and think about how we can act on that, how to first think of a dream and then how can we act on those dreams. So I want you to draw your dream on this paper and then I want, when you finish your dream, I want you to think about this and I want you to think, okay, this is my dream for the world. Is there anything I can do that can help make this dream come true? Okay, like Autumn had a dream that she wanted to protect water and make sure that everyone can have clean water. And she didn't just have that dream, but she had that dream and then decided I'm going to do something about it. And she speaks to lots of important people and lots of groups and helps make plans for what, how people can have clean water. So I want you to, to think about what is your dream? Like William, what was his dream, right? That his family could have a way to have light that was clean and that people wouldn't go hungry, right? And he did something about it. Yeah, he didn't just say, this is what I wish. But he said, this is what I wish, and I'm going to work for it. I'm going to do something about it. So after you have your dream, think, is there anything you can do that could help make your dream come true? It might not come true all at once, but it might just be a one step that you can take towards making your dream come true. Okay, I can't wait to see these. So I really hope that you... We'll share these with me. And then tomorrow we have our all school project where we'll um, be doing the peace dubs, together, peace dubs together. And so we'll also be talking about our dreams. So you might want to have this handy when we talk about our dreams tomorrow in our groups because this will help you remember a dream that you have for our world. Okay. And you know, I wanted to say also, it could be a dream that you have for our, our large world, our whole world, or it could be a dream that you have just for our smaller community or our school community or your home, okay? So dreams don't have to be huge for the whole world, but it could just be like for the people in your neighborhood or for the people in your town. The dreams can be small or dreams can be big, but all dreams are wonderful. And especially if we do something and try to make those dreams come true. Okay, so go ahead and Think about your dream and then draw a picture of it. I can't wait to see these. All right, everyone, do some important work today.